what are the ranges that he's in? Here? Ranges. Yes. Yeah. A, B, O, B, C, B, 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 B. And so the calcium that we would give him. Oh, lactate and glucose. Yeah. I would go with the, the calcium lactate and I would give him Mincol. Okay. That, I don't I don't rely as much on the gluconates and the citrates as some people. I would rather stick with, with um, you know things that are going to be more uh, like like the pH neutral mincol will have the absorption uh, pretty well within like once pHs go way out your absorption is going to drop off regardless, but it will have better absorption regardless of the pH in the middle. So I like mincol and I like uh, the Cal2 or Coracal. I, I like the uh, calcium lactate and I do carry like what what we'll do is usually just with like the calcium lact uh, gluconate um, I don't actually even have any citrate uh, I use rather than these these types I use like the aspartate okay so that would be another thing that we would use but let's just focus eventually what we do is we go to like a mincol and an aspartate that makes sense all right I should take Mencol. Yeah. Yeah, so I would be looking. But I, I took Mencol years ago to lower my alkalinity. Uh huh. Those, those would be the ones I would be looking at. And I would be looking at six caps of, of that a day. So you could write that basically as two, three times a day. And I would probably just take take one of those three times a day. I said I don't really like to give much more than six uh, six capsules of calcium. If his bowels can handle that, that we would just do a little bit of a tolerance test. If not, we would just eliminate the mincol temporarily. Do the calactate as the pH comes down, then we'll add in the mincol. Okay. Um, if his bowels can't handle it, what would there be concentration? Concentration, yeah. Um, so we're the pH down. Uh, the solids we're not really too concerned with at this point, but there would be maybe a bit of a tendency towards some sort of low salt, but we know that from another uh, thing. He had a blood test done that we're showing low salt. And so even though this, okay, this does not give a direct indicator of the salt in the blood. We've gone back and forth on on, on that because uh, it's the I'm usually much higher than that. That's pretty solid that low. Yeah, but but usually what it is is it's all dependent upon kidney function. If if the salt's high and the blood is is low, we got to look at what's going on with kidneys because there's either been trauma or degeneration. Okay, I mean there's something going on there that we need to address, and you know it might be as simple might be as simple as adding some magnesium to the water. It may be that simple uh, because that would get it into the system a little easier. Uh, all right. Anything else we really want to cover on that? The biggest thing that we're working on is candida. I just have a question, and it's just I come to this with so much ignorance. But see, if I saw that, I know all, you know, I haven't even read the Reams book, but I see the chart with all the calciums. You know, my inclination would have been, wow, to. Um, to get them on some minerals and some vitamin C and, you know, lemon water. You know, that's what I would be thinking I, I take about. all those. I take lemon water, I take vitamin C. I take 1,500 vitamin C every day. More vitamin C. And, uh, and I take uh, <laughs> uh, Great Salt Lake uh, minerals, eight drops in a glass of water twice a day. So with calcium lactate and glutenate or uh, mencal, with those, um, why would they bring the pH down? The lactate, if you were to look at uh, a bottle of uh, calcium lactate, mm -hmm. you know, six capsules, those are 500 milligram capsules, so there's three grams in six, right? Mm -hmm. And um, the other, there's only 280 milligrams of calcium. Right. So it's only 10% calcium. What's the rest? It's lactic acid. Lactic acid. Okay, yeah. so it's going to act as an acidic. Yeah. Just like citrate would. 
Uh, yeah, but this is much stronger than citrate, and citrate really won't move the pH very much. Okay. What citrate's most common for is when somebody's, everyone's got a high pH. When someone's pH is real low, and you give them citrate, it may loosen the bowels really bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it's really not going to adjust the pH a whole lot, but it can be an irritant. And if pH is high, you really don't have much to worry about. But I haven't had trouble with constipation for 20 years. I, mean, I go two or three times every day. And it's form. Good on this calcium. <laughs> yeah, we still need to get calcium into the body, but the cal lactate is a good one for that. Okay. Uh, and that if we need sense. to do anything else, you know, we, we would rely on, you know, I, I lean on the kombucha, you know, but you could use a crutch of some sort. I probably wouldn't put him on the alkaline water, you know. Oh, and the vitamin C, it, you know, we didn't even mention that here, but yeah, I mean, I would use all the way up to like, you know, five grams of vitamin C, and if, if we still don't achieve desired results, I might even go up to 10 grams, yeah. I have a question on that water, too. Why would you put him on the 5.5 um, or 6 ionized water? Ooh, okay, that's a good point, and... Because um, that's bottled water, it's like 5.5, .5. it's just not ionized, and it has a positive spin on it. Give him a negative ionized acidic water. Okay, the acidic water does not have uh, a negative charge. Oh, all the negative ones under seven, that's right, they're positive. So that's wastewater. You that's only right. use that on the outside. And this was something that somebody you're posted right. on the net, and I said, don't go drinking that. You're going to hurt yourself because you're essentially, you know, uh, maybe seem, seem a group, but it's like drinking cigarette smoke or something. You're, yeah. you're drinking free radicals. Right. Uh, Some people were drinking the 2.5 to kill ulcers. Yeah. And that's Maybe temporarily. Like that three way. days. Yeah. yeah. But in the long run, uh, we don't really want to be No. Do you okay. advise the alkali water for me then? No. 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 Okay. Okay. Uh, so vitamin C, I did not write up there, but you could go ahead and. Uh, I'm, I'm drinking just plain filtered spring, uh, spring water. Yeah. Um, you know. It's okay. I'm not going to do too, too much of a problem, but I'd be looking at, oh, I, I'd probably start at 3 grams, and I'll work up all the way to 10. Now, 10 grams of C a day, that's going to become cost prohibitive to some people. You know, it's going to get expensive. Willem and I were talking, and it's going to be hard for him to, what's, what's the milligram rate that they sell that in, in, in Netherlands? No, we all sell it in one gram. Oh, you do? Yeah, we do. Oh, but you just can't bring it across the border? Or what? It's just uh, the, the RDA with us is about 16 times uh, the recommended daily allowance for one gram alone. So that's why most Dutch people think, well, that's way too much. So I have vitamin C is 500, I don't know what it is, milligrams or what, each tablet, the chewable type? Uh, so how many would I take a day? Six. Well, I'd start with six. Six? Yeah. I've never taken that many. Three is the most I've ever taken that day. Well, you can try it out, see what happens. Okay, we're going to move down. Any other, any other things on there? Okay. Uh, okay, uh, who did we get? Was this Stan? Yeah. Okay, what do we see in, in, in this range? Needs electrolytes, calcium, deficiency, and yeah. Yeah. Potassium. You, you would be seeing some of it. Um, you're seeing some of the potassium. There's an electrolyte. You are going to be seeing some of this. Okay. Uh, you know, don't get too caught up. We just see, we just see when, this, when this weight is real big and the urea is real low. Uh, and, and, and even when the salts are low, we know that there's a potassium deficiency. But I'll tell you what. I see right off the bat. She drank too much water this day. Okay. Uh, did that throw you all a little bit? Yeah. You get it? Because my salts are so low. Well, your sugar is, is virtually non-existent and your salt is so low. Mm -hmm. sure. Now, what that would, would practically look like is your ureas would be much higher. Um, this would be probably pretty accurate. Because pH is not... Uh, you know, parts per million type thing. Uh, it's not diluted and goes down. pH is 
you know, stay fairly consistent regardless of how well you do it. Okay. So this morning I had 0.9 blood sugar, so I still was drinking too much water, right? Well, no, I mean, in reality, your blood sugar could be quite low. Okay. But just in this test, your test is basically a wash. Um, now, with that being said, we could we could we could make an indicator that there's probably a tendency towards low blood sugar, uh, a possible potassium deficiency. That's not maybe the most critical thing in this, and we would not make a determination on that until we did another test. We would definitely see that there is some trouble here, though. You know, that's pretty high if you're if you were uh, diluted. So we do want to see another uh, test on that. Now, you are double alkaline, so we could make some recommendations off of that. We could start you with like the calcium lactate, uh, push that down a little bit, uh, vitamin C. Uh, but we do want to get another test on that. You know, I'd want to put her on the master cleanse with maple syrup and lemon juice, you know, and just a whole lot of it for a couple of days. What would that do? Well, you know, the, the idea of, of putting on her fast without getting an accurate number here, and even to some extent there, uh, would be a little bit too rash. Okay. Start out, get just, just postpone, if you were working with this person, postpone it a week, get another yeah. test, oh, yeah. or even three or four days. You could test this person who goes on Monday, you could test them on Wednesday, okay. Thursday, Friday. Why? But you just got to tell them, I need you to cut back a little bit on, on on uh, water consumption. And that's what that water chart was about, the four ounces. Uh, no more than four ounces every half hour. Mm -hmm. Now, once somebody's on a program, it's not really a matter of, of the four ounces every half hour. You just want to get, when you get to that point of doing a test, your body's not going to absorb any more than, than that amount. And well, we're going to sound like heretics. When we get into the ionized water, it's going to uh, change some of those dimensions because the water, the structure, it changes its absorption rate. Okay, but as far as distilled water is when we're dealing with the rings uh, ideology, this, this concept, uh, in order to get accurate numbers we want to make sure that we're not really diluting the urine down. And if they're coming in the morning, uh, like even here, it's most common to drink uh, a large amount of water in the morning when you wake up. So the first morning urine is usually a bit more diluted. So you might want to wait until, if, it, if that first, like, if I saw a uh, in it and we got this number, I would say, okay, uh, I'm going to fit you in, uh, you know, three days from now in the afternoon, 2 o'clock, something like that. Okay? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So, so the, to get a more accurate reading, what, what should I do as far as water drinking? How much should I drink? Well, uh, the, the chart that I gave, with the water calculation, that gives an idea. We haven't even really been doing the lemon water. You know, there's plenty of lemons around, I do believe. But, um, I've been doing it. Good. But see, on this, it's going to give you an idea based on salt ratio and how much water to be drinking every half hour. So, what would you like her ureas to be? The ureas? Well, if she was about to go through a program, this wouldn't be too bad of a, a, a area to be in, okay? But um, she could go through a fast huh? with that going She could go through a fast with that. The thing about the fast is being determined more out here, okay? And, and to some extent here, because that's awfully low. Okay. 